Tutorials, courses, and how-to videos can end up being incredibly boring without the right tools. So first y'all press shortcut shift command eight, and these are your audio meters. They're important. Uh, you can click here if you want, and also subscribe and buy my course. Luckily, mTutorial gives you 107 easy to use presets to help you get your message across beautifully and make your videos stand out. Now, if we press the shortcut Shift Command 8, you'll notice that your audio meters will pop up. These are incredibly important because they'll let you know if your audio is peaking. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also check out my course all about audio meters. Okay, so that is enough about audio meters. I'm Dylan with Motion VFX and let me show you just a few of the awesome features that we put into mTutorial. So with mTutorial open, you'll notice it's split up into nine different sections. It looks like a lot, but don't worry, we'll break it down. The first section here is add-ons. We have a lot of cool options here, like this preset, which will allow us to select an area using a neat looking drawn on circle with a customizable title over top. So it's as easy as this. Drag it over your clip, make sure you have your inspector open with your title inspector selected, and let's do some quick customization as an example. Let's say we're doing a cooking tutorial and we want to highlight the fact that the fat should be cut off of this meat. We can drag it over to the area we want using this. This is our on-screen controls and we can use it to position the tool as well as change the size and rotation without even having to make an adjustment in this area in the inspector. Once the size and location is right, you can play around with the circle by using these points here. Pretty cool, right? Let's head into our inspector. Let's first rename this title. I'll increase the tracking of the text so we have more of a cinematic looking title. If I want to change the roundness of the title box, I can, but I kind of like it as is here. Last thing, let's head down to Drop Shadow. I'll click it on and we'll give ourselves a nice shadow to separate the tool from the background to add some depth. What I usually do is adjust the distance first and then add a bit of blur. Now you'll notice that a lot of tools in this pack have an option to animate in and animate out. Just click off on these options if you don't want the intro and outro animation to happen. It's that simple. Some of my other favorites in the add-on section are the shortcuts add-on and the mouse add-on. The background section gives you eight high quality backgrounds that you can use in your videos. Give yourself a nice little border on your videos by dragging them underneath, scaling down your shot by using the transform tool or sliding your scale slider to the left in the inspector and you're done. Once again, if you don't want the smooth intro and outro to happen, turn off the animation in the inspector tab. If you want to change the color of things, quickly scan for those important parameter triangles we talked about and change the color to whatever fits your style. The focus section here is awesome. You guys are gonna love this. These tools give you unique options to highlight different things in your videos to help you get your message or point across. And when I say highlight, there are literally tools to give you a highlighter type effect. So with this text, let's drag highlight three over our clip. We already have one of our cool backgrounds underneath. Let's drag our highlight focus into position using the on-screen controls here. And here's a little pro tip. If you're using this highlight title on newspaper or a fairly bright background, change your blend mode to darken. And look at that, huge difference. Let's drag this in. We'll change the feather of it so it looks more realistic. And check that out. Pretty easy and simple to create. We could also use the zoom title found in the same section to give us a little more dramatic push into the text being highlighted. Flip on zoom sharpen and that's going to give us some nice sharpening of the text as we scale in. This section is packed with tons of other goodies. By using the highlight area, either the circle or the square option, you can simultaneously zoom into something on your shot and create a sort of spotlight effect while excluding everything else. The guide section gives you nine drag and drop guides that can help you to achieve beautiful composition with guides that show you the golden ratio over top of your footage to the safe zone overlay, which gives you a good indicator of where titles and text should not go. Side note, this guide also kind of works as a nice design piece. The horizontal and vertical lines can help give you an accurate line down half of your frame to create something like a split screen. I disagree, I think a walrus would win in a fight. You are mistaken, sir. Clearly you have not been studying penguins as long as I have. Put your clips on top of each other, add the vertical ruler over top, and let's thicken this line a bit and change the color. 
With my top clip selected, I'll use the position tool in my inspector window to slide the clip to the left so my body is center with this part of the frame. And we do that just by pulling down on the X axis here. I'll go down to the crop section and we'll take the right crop slider and drag that out till we get to the vertical ruler line. Then we'll do the opposite with a bottom clip. The lower third section has a lot of awesome options for lower thirds for your videos. Say you want to identify who you are in a video. That's important, right? Let's drag a lower third over our clip and make some adjustments. We'll type in our name here and look how cool this is. The size of the text box changes as we write in our name. No more pain of having to drag out the box to fit the size of the name perfectly. We'll make our changes to the subtitle as well. Let's extend the letter tracking here. I'll change the color of the subtitle bar. We can also add that lovely drop shadow once again to give us a little more depth. And for the piece de resistance, let's go to the drop zone and click it. I'll find a picture of my ugly mug in the library and click apply. Now we have a nice little icon here. To change the positioning of the picture or video, we can adjust the X or Y values as well as the zoom so it fits appropriately. The miscellaneous section has 13 options of different titles and text boxes and such to help you out. This one is a great one if you're selling anything as a creator. So drag it over your footage and let's increase the size by expanding the circle here and we'll drag this into the place that we want on the frame. Text one is going to be the previous price number which is helpful to have so your potential buyers feel like they're getting a good deal. As usual, if you want to change the color of the text, you can do so here. Just find that important triangle and change it to what you like. Text 2 is our current sale price, and it's important to note that you don't need to put the dollar sign for this one. That's because text 3 has the dollar sign in it, so we can keep it nice and small and make it look stylish. And you'll see that we're overlapping, so go to your text on screen and just drag the text to the position that you'd like. We can easily change what the button says as well and the style of it, as well as add some depth and separation by turning on our drop shadow and adjusting. Placeholders are a great way for you to put your videos and info into professional looking animations. So we just learned the Crouching Tiger Hidden Dragon. Up next will flow into the Hidden Llama. If you create any type of review videos, the placeholder comparison is going to be really helpful. Let's adjust our comparison review name, font, and tracking. I kind of like the number one and two here, but if you don't, you can just turn them off. Down here, we can adjust our two subtitles as well as list the description of each. You also have tons of customizable options like line thickness and length. Click the drop zone, select the clip or still you want in your library, and click apply. Like we did before, you may need to adjust the scale or positioning of your media, but luckily it's really easy to do that. This is just the tip of the iceberg with this section. Lots of solid choices to help you create professional looking videos. The pointer section is extremely helpful and really simple, so we'll breeze through this. Don't click off just yet. These are alternative ways to help direct your viewer to what you want them to see in your video. Let's say I'm creating a video editing tutorial. As an example, I'll use this pointer to let my viewers know that a button on screen should be clicked. I'll drag it over my footage and move it into the place that I'd like. Next, I'll head to my inspector and make our title a little larger as well as change the text. We'll move our text into place on screen, add a drop shadow, and done. There are 10 more different options to help you effectively point out things in your videos in this section. Just when you thought the other sections were gorgeous enough, we'll end with 17 amazing titles. Let's pretend I create self-improvement videos. And that is why it is so beneficial to write down your goals. As Benjamin May said, tragedy lies. I'll drag an option like this title over my footage, make sure it's in the place we want, and we'll quickly make some changes to it in the inspector window. First and foremost, let's write our quote in. Head down to the bottom and type in what you want here. Let's increase the size. We'll keep the font, that looks good. We'll type in the person's name who said the quote as well as a subtitle, making adjustments to the position of the text as needed. Once again, we'll click our drop zone and select our media in our library. Now, if you don't want this picture up, you can just turn off the drop zone and adjust the position of the text below to wherever you'd like. 
And that is why it is so beneficial to write down your goals. As Benjamin May said, tragedy lies in having no goals to reach. And I truly now I just went over a few of the awesome tools in the plugin, so I'd highly recommend checking out the rest of the options when you can. Head on over to the Motion VFX website to check out the rest of the pack, and make sure to subscribe if you have not already. My name is Dylan, and I will see you in the next tutorial.